Hi, I'm Julia Hood and I'm the manager of School and Family Learning at Rinalda House Museum of American Art. Today in our pop-up studio, I'm going to show you how to dye eggs with materials that you may have at home or that you can find in a grocery store. If you can find some old pantyhose around, I'll show you a way of adding a little extra natural flair to your Easter eggs like so. There are lots of ways of making natural dyes for Easter eggs. Today, we're going to use red cabbage, which creates this nice blue color for your eggs, but you can also use onion skins to create a nice, deep, rich brown. For some of the activities today, you will need an adult to help you. If we could go back in time to 1911, we could see the oldest Reynolds children, Dick, and Mary host an Easter egg hunt at their home. The adults hid eggs inside plants in their conservatory or greenhouse, and then the kids went and found them. Every guest went home with their own little Easter basket of eggs. Whether you celebrate Easter like the Reynolds did or just want to make a natural dye for eggs, here's an activity for you. I'll show you the materials that you'll need to complete this project and how to do it. For this project, you'll need eggs that have not been cooked. White and brown eggs will both work, but produce different results. You'll need about half a head of red cabbage, shredded, and an adult to help you. A stainless steel pan for cooking, and either a colander or slotted spoon. You'll need one tablespoon of vinegar per cup of cabbage. If you want to decorate your eggs, you'll need pantyhose cut into six inch squares. Ask an adult in your household if you have any that can be cut up. You'll need a twist tie and pantyhose square per egg that you add leaves to. You can also add eggs without this decoration. You will need to pick small, flat leaves that you might find in a grassy area of lawn. If there is something you want to pick from anywhere besides the grass, ask an adult first if it is something that can be picked. Look for small, flat leaves that have an interesting shape to them. Finally, to polish your eggs at the end, you'll need some olive or vegetable oil. Ask an adult to dice the cabbage for you or to help you shred it. For this project, I'm measuring four cups of cabbage, and then I will put it into a saucepan and add four cups of water. The first two cups of cabbage are in. Then I'll add two cups of water. Here I'm adding two more cups of each. For four cups of cabbage, add four tablespoons of vinegar. Cook the cabbage on the stove on high until it reaches a boil. Get an adult to help you. Once the cabbage boils, turn down the heat to a simmer. Put a lid on the pot and set a timer for 30 minutes. After the cabbage has simmered for 30 minutes, turn off the stove and remove the pot from the heat. Let it
let it cool for several hours or overnight. Once your dye has cooled, you'll want to strain it through a colander into another stainless steel pot. If you do not have a colander, use a slotted spoon to remove the cabbage from the pot you used to cook it in. It's okay if there's a little bit of cabbage still in the pot when you dye the eggs. When the dye is ready, prepare your eggs by washing them and bringing them to room temperature. Then, collect small, flat leaves that you can use to dye your eggs. Dip the leaves in water to help them stick to the egg, like so. Wrap the egg with the pantyhose, drawing it tightly around the side opposite the leaves. Use a twist tie to tightly fasten the remaining pantyhose together, as close to the egg as you can get it. Repeat this process with any other eggs that you'd like to decorate with leaves. Now that you have your packages of eggs ready and some plain eggs at the side, carefully place your eggs into the stainless steel pan with your red cabbage dye. Carefully add eggs until each egg is fully covered by dye, but make sure that you only have one layer of eggs at the bottom. Push the eggs to make sure they are completely covered. Turn the burner to high and cook until the eggs come to a boil. Once they boil, turn down the heat to a simmer and cook for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, use a slotted spoon to remove an egg and see if the dye is as dark as you would like it. If not, cook for another 10 minutes and then turn off the stove and remove the pan from the heat to cool. Once the pot has mostly cooled, place it into the refrigerator to continue the dyeing process. After a few hours, check the eggs and see if they are as dark as you'd like. Dry the finished eggs with a paper towel. Then, place a small amount of olive oil or vegetable oil onto the egg surface and buff it with a paper towel, like this. Untie your leaf decorated eggs and repeat the process. What happened here? How is some of the egg blue and some of it still white? The leaves blocked the dye from getting to the egg, which made our cool decoration. This was a brown egg that we dyed. Thank you.